What is up everybody? So today I'm gonna to tour around the house that I currently live in, the six bedroom house. None of my roommates are here. Practically have the house to myself right now. So let's get to it. The first thing is the first floor. That's why you hear the echo right now. It's because this first floor is pretty big compared to downstairs to where I actually live. So we're gonna start with the front of the house and then I will go towards like basically every single room. Just to respect my roommate's privacy, I will not go into the bedrooms except my own. Either way, let's get to it right about now. All right, so this is the first floor and the entrance, as you can see, ba-bam. That is, oh, wow. this is the front yard right here. It is, uh, yeah, kind of spacious. It's kind of cold outside, but I'm going to do it just for the gram, man. This is not the gram, but this is the YouTube. So our house right here, I actually have to turn off. Good thing I came outside because then I have to turn off those lights. So three-car garage right here. As you can see, three-car garage. My car is in there. And since there are four people living in this house, we have to park a car outside. Wow. Holy crap. You know, math. But front yard... This actually belongs to us, so we have to mow the lawn uh, during the summer um, because obviously in the winter there is usually snow, but it's been a little bit warmer these past few weeks. But as we go into the front entrance, so here's the living room we got on my right side, uh, an Elvis. What do you call these things again? Like fat heads? I think fat heads are, they used to be like the stickers and stuff, but. Basically, a freaking poster that Mark, my one of my roommates, has. So this is the pool table. No one really uses this. It's mainly like random crap usually on there or like packages. As we go here to the other side, this is the office area. Obviously, this is majority of this stuff is not mine. It is Mark's as well. <laughs> as you can see, it's kind of a mess. We use it and mainly as a storage space. And also, sometimes when guests visit, we have like this camping bed mattress thing that Mark provides. So either way, we get out of the office and we got the guest bathroom, just a half bath essentially. There's no shower in here. This is the storage area. This is Mark's room. He does have the smallest room in there. So uh, yeah, I'll leave it to him to have his own crap because mainly I think it's going to be messy like the storage area. But either way, kitchen slash living area. So kind of a shared space here. This is where Kyle and Mark usually hangs out. So you could see all the stuff that young kids and young bucks, such as, you know, Xbox and all the gadgets and stuff for entertainment. And over here, we have the backyard. This uh, requires some maintenance, obviously, because we have grass in the backyard. So going back inside, this is the kitchen right here. I know, super glamorous. Woo! This is actually a pretty dope kitchen. I mean, we have the usual, oh, this is not usual, double oven, what the hell? But gas stove, microwave, which is really randomly placed. And yeah, pretty high ceilings as you can see. Um, but you can see the difference when I visit downstairs where I actually live. And this is the dining area, right? There's no dining table because Mark and Kyle don't really eat like that. Um, they usually bring over to their couch or in their rooms and enjoy their meals like that. But over here is actually Kyle's bedroom. He has the master bedroom and therefore his car does not have a garage space because four people live here. We have to compromise essentially. If you have the master bedroom, which has a enormous, enormous, enormous. I just say enormous. Holy cow! Which has a humongous um, bedroom and a bathroom. Which, if if you want to, if you want me to give you the just like something relevant, it would be the size of this living room and kitchen. Like I am not kidding. And as tall as that too. So he has high ceilings. A nice area, like legitimately a lot of room for activities and a huge ass bathroom, which has a, its own uh, jacuzzi bathtub and also a shower head and also a walk in um, kitchen, uh, not walk in kitchen. There's no walk in kitchen in the bedroom, but there's a walk in closet. So, yeah, that's how we compromise with that. And I'm totally okay because I don't have to shovel snow at all. This is our laundry room, it's pretty spacious. 
um, we just use this uh, as a shared room and this is the um, garage but bam as you can see three car garage here's my car and but bam all the tools is belongs to Kyle and we store our random crap like this all around the garage because you know what we can and we have the no we have enough room so this is totally dope for us because this house is so big and it is a six bedroom house so you can expect that the storage space is very ample this is pretty much it for the first floor so i'm gonna head downstairs and you can see basically where i usually hang out at and of course uh random ass picture but I, I don't even know i don't even know who that is but cool all right and this is the basement majority of it is carpeted and that's why you don't hear the echo anymore in addition to that the ceiling is not as tall kitchen area ba bam holy moly wow we have a dining table kitchen area i share it with jeff my other roommate that i lived downstairs and just gonna tour the kitchen a little bit pantry pretty usual we share half and half pretty simple this is majority of his stuff and that's all mine uh i live pretty minimalistic in terms of food same thing it is not obviously we don't have the nice ass kitchen setup as upstairs does because I was, we don't have like that double you know oven and like that so it is pretty simple but i i love living here simple is easy for me and you can see that we have two fridges one two the, the reason why is because jeff had his own fridge and he wants to have his own fridge, so he kept the fridge. So there you go. And this was provided by our landlord. So um, th this is all my stuff is in that fridge, and all Jeff's stuff is in that fridge. If you compare it to upstairs, upstairs does not have two fridges. So technically, I definitely enjoy living downstairs, mainly because I have, have my own fridge. And room is super ample, as you can see when I open up random storage like rooms like this is one our furnace room right but we still have plenty of room to store crap in um bam this is just one example and then i'll share with you another example this is another storage room right underneath the staircase and this could actually probably be turned into a bedroom if there's good enough insulation and I'm not kidding when I say this is a lot of storage space. You can see here, bam, so much room. And this thing, uh, yeah, this 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 thing is it's supposed to be like a cold room, right? Because it's all concrete here. But we just store majority of our packages, boxes in there. And once in a while, I'll come in there to grab anything that I need in terms of storage stuff or shipping stuff, should I say. Uh, that's Jeff's room right there. I'm not going to go inside, but Jeff's room, his bedroom, connects actually behind that, behind this door or behind this staircase towards upstairs. Um, there is a connecting bathroom. There's a bathroom in between here, right? Just envision it. And there's the office, like an office room right here. This is actually another bedroom that we converted to an office, or should I say Jeff converted to an office because he just wanted, I don't know, a desk and he wants to play video games. So he has his own office in there and it's super dope because it connects, right? The whole thing connects as one big bedroom if you want to think about it like that. But either way, let's get back into the living area, which is fully furnished holy crap we have recliners man this is all jeff's by the way oh my gosh premium seats bro i am not joking and guess what hold on let me put this back and guess what we have a projector that's why you have this screen here it is a projector screen my guy bam super dope you could you know bring over your friends or have a girl or have a guy over whatever you're into and uh, you know make out section or just just netflix and chill you know what i mean i by chilling i mean you actually chill and just watch netflix because that's pretty dope or disney plus and chill and here we go this is the game room all right this is this can be a bedroom i guess but this leads directly to outside if you want to look bam 
and hence most of the time this room is freaking freezing because it is right next to a back door but essentially this is all my stuff have my own great game room that i rarely use maybe once in a while if jeff or his girlfriend is hanging out outside of watching tv or whatever i'll come in here and watch my own tv anyways more storage space holy cow all of this is my stuff as you can see pretty minimalistic if you compare it to my stuff to jeff's stuff i kind of regret buying this tv mainly because in my last video, I explained that it costed more than my vehicle when I lived in Japan. Super dope TV. I just rarely use it because I don't watch TV. I spend the majority of my time on my computer, which is in my bedroom after I close this up. And this is my bedroom. You could see majority of my videos will probably be filmed here, mainly because it's super convenient. I have everything I need in here because I have my own bathroom as well. And I forgot to explain this to you guys, mainly because every bedroom has its own bathroom. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Four of the bedrooms have its own bathroom, which is super dope. So that means if you have four roommates, each one of us has our own bathroom, full bath, and we don't have to ever share a bathroom space, which is dope. But anyways, king size bed, super dope, 100% recommend you to always get a king size bed whenever you are living by yourself <laughs> and especially if you're living with somebody else get a king size bed you will never regret it this thing is memory foam holy cow never going back to a queen size mainly because this is just so much room like it is so comfortable because it's so big and uh <laughs> that was a joke in there anyways closet room and then we'll go into my desk setup right here dresser blah 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 bam and then my bathroom as you can see sick angle dude the sick angle dude look at my setup right now i i turn my my uh microphone around so it's t pointing towards me when i speak so you could pick up the freaking sound a lot better and holy cow, so sick, so innovative. JK, I just grabbed it from a YouTube channel. But either way, you can see full bathroom. I don't have that luxurious like jacuzzi tub that Kyle lives in. Totally good for me. I, I love it. I, I love having my own bathroom. I don't have to care for anybody else. And I keep it as clean as I want. And yeah, plenty of room as you can see on storage space. And uh, yeah, I don't think I would ever, ever run out of room and that is all for the tour dude what's up everybody it's been a couple days since the last clip but i just want to conclude the video right here because there is going to be a part two on explaining how much i actually pay for this place with all the a little bit details into like the utilities and everything, the logistics of, and finances, I guess, as well, of how this house works when I'm living with three other people. So be sure to subscribe if you are looking out to see how much I pay for this place. And hint, hint, it is very, very cheap. Everybody, all my friends that I've brought over and invited over, and essentially every single person who has visited this place and I have told them or my roommates have told them how much we pay for this place it's like people get their freaking minds blown because it's just like that's impossible in a be sure to subscribe and if you like this tour and you like things that i'm showing you guys and being a little bit more into the details of how i live my life then be sure to smash that like button because it really helps the video out. It really helps the channel out. And additionally, for the next video, not only would I talk about the logistics and finances of this place, I will also talk about the story of how I ended up being here. This story will probably put you into perspective of how lucky I was, but you could also increase your chances of luck if you understand the concept that I will try to explain to you in the next video. So. Be sure to freaking subscribe, dude. Freaking subscribe. Help, please. I I'm losing subs. 
I'm I'm freaking entertaining still, dude. Look at it. I'm jacked as hell, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Are the biceps moving, dude? All right, that's enough for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to smash the like button. This is like the third or second time. See you later, dude. See ya. See you later. See you later, dude. I had a different agenda. Switch out the focus, it's not for the kid. Used to be rapping in closets with pillows and blankets, but they boy slept on my shit. I done gave everything to the best. It just get lonelier and the stress. Knowing I'ma hold a rice in my hand. Might just go turn her eyes to a fan. Yeah.